What's good? What's good? We're installing a carbon diffuser on Adams 350. What is it called again? Uh, 350 then. Well, no shit. Oh, the diffuser. I meant the diffuser. Oh. Well, that's a big mess right there. Yeah, but what is it? What is the exact name of this diffuser called? Um. Um. Diffuser for the 350Z. Look at that. I think it's called oh. a TS. It's called like a Seabon. 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 I don't. I don't know. <laughs> TS diffuser. Okay, um, and yeah, so we're gonna sort everything out, and then sure. we're gonna put on these, uh, well, I think these side things the first, and then we're gonna start installing. So and two, three, three, if three, you three. think we know how to install a carbon diffuser we on do. a 350, we do. Not. We install. definitely do not know how. Missing a bolt? To install. Are you serious? We're already missing a bolt. Great start off. So uh, we kind of have these vortex things half ass on. Look how sexy this carbon fiber looks. Ooh. We have this one half, half on. The bolt doesn't line up, or the hole, or the. I got a drill yeah. in the hole. Yeah. And Megan brought me bubble tea. Okay, so Adam got the vortex things on the side, and. It's, we totally put it on the car already. I'm just kidding. It's held up by the pin. And when we get the diffuser on, we're going to put the tips onto this bolt right here so they extend out farther. And it'll look mint. What? 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 Yeah, look good. Yeah, well. It'd be aggressive. And we think we've ran into a problem because his pipes for his exhaust focus are hitting the diffuser. It's and so it's making it like go on an angle. So, really yeah, I think so. Anyways, so. Hopefully, that doesn't come into a problem. And I think we're gonna try and bolt it up now. And if not, um, it's because we have no idea what we're doing. When we we're looking at Sam's car at the meet last night, um, his diffuser came up like flush with his bumper. And this one's like pointed down because of his like exhaust. So hopefully it still works. Adam's looking looking it up for how we can do it. Yeah. Ooh, now Adam's jacking it up. Yeah. Ooh. I'm gonna jack it up, put it on the stands, and then I'm going to um, put the diffuser under, see where the pipe sit, and then cut it out. For Oh sick, so we're gonna notch it. We're gonna yeah, we're gonna have like sharpie marks like we're gonna put it under and then where the diffuser is touching the pipes we're gonna notch it like an inch out and then Dremel cut it off and then we'll put it on mark it and untuck this if you need to. And yeah. I don't, oh, yeah. I don't think we need to untuck this. Yeah, hopefully we don't. We need but to, we if know. you guys can see his bumpers tucked and the carbon diffuser comes up to like right here and you have to drill into your bumper like right here so uh -huh. hopefully so, like, it just catches right here unless i like yeah i need to heat gun to a bend the piece and yeah sure yeah. thanks brown oh my god wow, that was beautiful sorry adam i'm trying to record and do this at the same okay, time it's actually easier <laughs> so big boy over here set up a tarp Okay, so the pipe hit from this edge to this edge, so we have to cut this all the way down, so we're cutting carbon fiber because weight reduction. Um, and then this edge to this edge, and then that should be like an inch extra just in case. So the pipes will lay so that it can sit flush, because it's like pretty How much exactly the same width. How far are you going to cut it down? All the way. All the way. Yeah. All the way. Good. I'm just kidding. Because it doesn't matter. You can't even see this bar anyways. Yeah, true. So it's just going to be like right down. Okay, ready? Cut to Dremel. Dremel time. It's cutting good. Safety first, kids. Don't film this. Well, yeah, you look like an idiot, so I got to film it. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? 
Did you get that on film? Loud. Oh shit! Point at my knee. Third bit, gone. We're already on the fifth bit. Piece of carbon. Sounds terrible. <laughs> oh, last cut. Uh, free carbon fiber. Anyone? Free carbon fiber. Oh shit. The whole all right, now we're done, and now we can put it on the car, and we can all have fun. And then yeah, it'll take ten minutes from now. Yeah. <laughs> it's dark. Hopefully it's not pitch black <laughs> so like it was in the last. Black. <laughs> Hopefully it's not like the hub install where it turned dark on us. So Adam finished cutting out the the, the, the notches for his uh, pipes, his yeah, little, those little fit, pips. Will fit more flush. Will fit more flush. Will fit more flush. Now he's got to vacuum up all this cocaine. <laughs> so we got these bumper clip oh, things wait, on. Oh, it's a rocket Z. Another imperfection. What? Never mind. We got it. Rocket Z. That's the company. Oh. And uh, look how solid it is. Hey, stop. Jesus Christ. Oh, sorry. Was I screwing up over there? <laughs> no. You good, buds? Oh my. So, we got both of them on now. And now we're trying to figure out how this thing is going to connect to the bumper on the back over there you know, through the thingy. What What do you mean, am I done? I'm sorry. Do you really think this is going to be easy? Yeah. All right. I don't think it will be. I think we're gonna have troublesome issues everywhere. Does anything go right in a mod? No, never. Unless you're like putting valve covers. If, it go, if, on a, your car. if a mod goes wrong, then technically it goes right. If that makes sense, because it always goes wrong anyways. So technically, that makes sense. If, you, know if I mean. you think it's gonna be 30 minutes, it's gonna be a, a 30 minutes times another. Oh my god! Long I just cross it. Two hours. I just cross-threaded it. Good job. All right, so we'll get back to you when we try putting this on the car. I just ruined it. So we realized that the diffuser, we needed to untuck his bumper. So yeah, they're gonna do that right now. So Adam just melted the bumper. <laughs> Idiot. We both, uh, farther, farther. <laughs> farther? Yeah. Right farther there, down? right there, that's good. Right there, daddy. We're just about done. Then I watch his bumper just fall Can off. Go? There we go. That's good enough, right? Hey guys. So, sorry if we do not film everything because we honestly have no idea how to put this on without screwing it up. Not a single thing. Like, to line it up perfectly with these brackets on the bumper, you can't mark them while they're on. So, we, we don't know what the hell we're going to do. I had, I had, like, not one idea. So, if you guys are putting one on, don't feel bad if you screw up. Because we fucked up a lot. We have no idea what we're doing. We're cutting into the carbon. We're drilling holes. We're... Yeah, it's not working. <laughs> it's, not it's, working. it's not working at all. So, we finally figured out what we're doing. Or what he's doing. He figured it out. I just made up a theory. Uh, you watched the video. <laughs> Only for the placement. There's a factory bolt. Yeah. That, um, can for, clip on. For that one right there. Am I both on it? There's a factory bolt for both sides. And then, it oh. should line up your whole entire diffuser. And you're done. Actually, just kidding. You have to, there's like a brace you put on for right here. That's why we had to unfold his bumper. And I feel so that dumb. part's gonna be the hardest. Well, not really. But we're almost done. Hopefully we get it done before it's dark. Cool. Oh shit. <laughs> Did it work? Yeah. Drilling the hole for the last part of the diffuser. I am falling over. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> 
I can't even see it. See, dark. the Haggard way is the best way to go. It just got super dark now. I can't see anything. You got it? You got it in? Yeah. Now, driller. That's straight. It's definitely straight. Tight squeeze, you have to put a nut on. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sam's probably like, thank God I didn't have to deal with that shit. <laughs> hey, you, it's Sam. a learning experience. I know. That I never want to learn again. And <laughs> I'm gonna go to sleep and have a nightmare. <laughs> I'm gonna go to sleep and dream about doing this. I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, that was kind of dramatic. <laughs> I totally think I said the wrong word, but. Drastic. <laughs> that was a little bit drastic. <laughs> no one's gonna want to put on a diffuser after watching this. <laughs> yeah, fuck that shit. Hey, all right, guys, guess what? Racing By the time we get to finish, it'll be dark again, like our steering wheel video. <laughs> so it's dark again. <laughs> Can you tighten it? Can you tighten the silver thing? Go so, like this way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you when to tighten I'll tell you when to tighten <laughs> Do you want me to tighten this over here? Yeah, holding it like a pencil. That'd be great. <laughs> this shit's haunted. 350Z from hell. Yeah, haunted diffuser. <laughs> yeah, I was filming you. Yeah, that is crooked central. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Honestly, I'm not even bad. I'm just like. I do another fucking. I'm just joking. No, that's good. good. Actually, that's not bad either. Does it look good on him? No. Let's <laughs> grill. Let's put it's it on. Three M tape. For so what up? We are finally done the uh, diffuser. There's the vortex wings, and we finally got this centerpiece on. See, so look at the bolts. We can prove it, and it's solid. Look at this. Shake it. No budge. Yeah, that's not <clears throat> And the last thing we have to do are extend the tipulages out. Tip the blue. nice blue four inch wide tips to come out. And that was about it for the install. Honestly, it was a it was a bitch and a half. That was the gayest thing I've ever done in my life. But it's done. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. See y'all in the next video.